What is up, Jamers? It is Kaylee here, and welcome back to another brand new Kaylee Cools Tutorials video. Beautiful for a moment, we were roses. We were roses. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you all how to do the tile effect in uh, not Camtasia Studio. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the tile effect in Adobe After Effects. So basically, I think you can have pretty much any Adobe After Effects um, version. You can have like CS6 or, you know, whatever one you have, I think you can pretty much do with this. But for example, I know a lot of you guys have probably seen in intros on Animal Jam and things like that, that a lot of people use the tile effect. I'm going to be showing you guys what that looks like right now. So yeah, so now since you've seen it, you guys know what I'm talking about and like I said, a lot of people use it and I use it a lot for my intros and things like that. So I was just like, why don't I show you guys how to do it on here and also since, you know, some people don't know how to do it. So, yeah guys, and also don't mind, like, my thing here. This is just an MEP part I'm doing for my MEP. If you guys want to, <laughs> go ahead and join my MEP. Link will be in the description if you guys want to. Um, but anyway, so what you're going to do first, guys, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to look up motion tile. So, right here. So, first, actually, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make a new layer and make sure that it's an adjustment layer. So we're gonna do that. Then place it basically wherever you want the tile to start. So then we're gonna drag the motion tile onto the adjustment ugh, onto the adjustment layer. Layer. Ugh, I cannot talk today. Okay. So then as you can see, it obviously would be kind of weird if it was like this. It'd be all stretched out and everything. So obviously you don't want to do that. So what you're going to do now is you're basically going to press this little clock thing here. And then you're also going to press all at the same time. So it can be the tile, what, width, or the height. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and click alt and click your left button on your uh, mouse. So go ahead and do that now. So as you can tell, obviously it shows this little thing here. So now, you're going to go ahead and drag this little thing to the height. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and do the height. Whichever one that you didn't do the 100 thing with that's red, choose that. So like for me, I'm going to do the tile height. So what you're going to do is you're going to scale this down to however you want it to be. And it should look something like this. You can make it this big, or you can make it, you know, like this. It doesn't really matter, um, but choose whatever you like. Um, but first, if you want to know how to make this kind of go in and out, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and keyframe this right here. And then we're going to go about in the middle of this kind of, about wherever you want this to kind of go in. Um, I'm going to do mine about, I don't know, right here probably then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we did go like this do it however far you want it to go I'm gonna do mine about right there I think and as you can tell we'll go ahead and load this See? okay so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and bring this back to where it was before to go like that all right so this is what it should look like. So that's what it should look like. So it's very simple. And if you want it to last longer, put this a little bit farther so it lasts longer, just like that. And yeah, so it should look like this. And obviously, as you can tell, it looks pretty darn nice. But yeah, guys, that's basically all you have to do. Like I said, it's very simple. I always thought it was very hard. But then I got the hang of it, and it's very simple. So, yeah, guys. So, this is all you have to do. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And also let me know down below what I should do for my next tutorial video. And, yeah, guys. So, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. And God bless your day.